welcome to To Read or Not To Read, Unstoppable Grandmas edition. I have picked out some great stories that feature wise, powerful, and sometimes quirky grandmas. Let's go. The Unexpected Mrs. Polifax by Dorothy Gilman. What do you do when your children have grown and left and you are a widow who has grown kind of bored with garden club meetings? You apply to become a spy for the CIA. Obviously. Dorothy Gilman has written a whole series about the adventures of Emily Polifax, who is a good-natured older woman who applies to be a spy for the CIA. By mistake, she is hired, but it turns out that she's awesome at it. In this first book in the series, she goes on a simple courier run in Mexico, ends up getting kidnapped, taken to Albania, and making a daring escape. I really admire how calm she is under pressure and how easy it is for her to make friends with all the characters that she meets in her travels. This was first published in 1966, so it is slightly dated, but I believe it'd be a great read for someone who enjoys mysteries or travel stories. The Weird Sisters by Terry Pratchett. This one is a twofer. You get two grannies. Number one, you get Granny Weatherwax, who is smart as a whip, has no time for fools, and is endearingly stubborn. Everyone calls her Granny Weatherwax, despite the fact that she never actually had any children. You also get Nanny Og, who does have a whole bushel of grandchildren. She's got a very bubbly personality, and she knows a surprising number of body songs. Both grannies are witches in Terry Pratchett's Discworld, which is a comedic fantasy universe that is frequently ridiculous and heartwarming. If Magical Madcap Adventure is your cup of tea, or if you enjoy Monty Python sketches, I believe that any of Terry Pratchett's witch-centric Discworld novels would be a great read. So that includes The Weird Sisters, Lords and Ladies, and Witches Abroad. Two for the Doe by Janet Ivanovich. Janet Ivanovich has so far published 27 novels in the Stephanie Plum series. I think number 28 comes out later this year. And they focus on a bounty hunter and her adventures in pursuing criminals and falling in and out of love. Now, the main character has a grandma called Grandmother Mazur, who starting in book two, starts to tag along on her adventures. And she is fantastic. Uh, so Grandma Mazur likes to go to funerals to socialize. She gets stabbed in the hand and the next day says cheerfully, let's go shopping. She gets locked in a cold storage drawer in a mortuary and when the murderer pulls out the drawer to peek on her, she comes out guns blazing. This would be a great read if you enjoy slightly silly crime romance adventure with a feisty grandma sidekick. Makita by Randall Robinson. The narrator in this book is a young black man named Gray growing up in Virginia in the 1950s. He has a very close relationship with his grandmother, Makita, who trusts him enough to share with him the secret of her mysterious visions. Makita is full of compassion, insight, and she knows who she is, which I really admire. Um, one of the quotes from Grandma Makita is, I don't need nobody to know me. I know me. That's more than enough knowing for one person. The story explores her visions, African history, the struggle of the civil rights movement, and some family drama. This one was originally published in 2011, but is very much relevant today. If you are looking for a slower paced, more soul searching book, this is excellent. Grandma Gatewood's Walk by Ben Montgomery. If you are looking for 100% nonfiction, look no further than Grandma Gatewood, the first woman to successfully through hike the Appalachian Trail. She set off with a pack that she had sewed herself and a simple pair of tennis shoes. She did not have a tent, she did not have a sleeping bag, and it was 1955, so no cell phone. This story is an account of all the challenges that she encountered on the trail, as well as things she encountered earlier in her life as she was working on a farm, raising 11 children, and suffering from injuries inflicted by her abusive husband. 
I thought it was a very interesting read. I really admired Gatewood's grit and tenacity. She went on to hike the trail two more times because she is not only a grandma, she is an unstoppable grandma. If you know any kids who might be searching for books about incredible grandmas, we have created another video which features some recommendations for younger readers.